Welcome to Fantasia, home of the Melodious. My name is Zalia, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys another dual commentary. This time, playing with Melodious. So let's see what we open up with. Eh, this is actually a pretty good hand. Um, we're just missing a Ben 10, but we do have a rank 4 play right here. Sucks that we drew two copies of Arya, but mm, <laughs> nothing we can really do about that right now. So. Let's uh let's make that rank four. I think I'm gonna go for a fairy cheer girl, just to see if we can get lucky and draw like a preparation of rights or a ben ten or something of that sort. Um, so yeah, I, I would go for a Bujinte Tsukiyomi if I didn't have like all these other cards in hand. Um, so let's go for a fairy cheer girl right here. Uh, we're gonna detach the cannon just so that she's in the graveyard. Ooh, ooh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Called it. Called it. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the Saffir play right here and um, trigger that Ben 10. Ben 10 will grab us a search, but since we've already summoned and all that good stuff, I'm um, gonna grab the Honest to protect that Fairy Trigger from battle. Um, or if, you know, something's gonna try to run over Saffra, uh, I'm probably gonna end phase draw 2 with Saffra just so I can uh, set up for next turn because this isn't really good to fall back on. Uh, so we're gonna draw two and discard one. Probably gonna discard the Aria. Yeah, definitely discarding the Aria because Summoner Monk and the uh, Hymn of Light are definitely good combo. So I can bring out the Soprano next turn with Summoner Monk. It will add back the um, the cannon. So I'll be all good there. Uh, oh, nice. So he's playing. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think he was playing Blue Eyes, which would be kind of cool because um, Saffir will trigger if like Light Monsters are sent to the graveyard and all that, but uh, now he has back row, and I know that um, Buster Bladers, they have uh, they have the new trap, the new traps are like s the one that sends like a Buster Blader and like uh, one of the little guys or something, and there's the other card that confused, so gotta be careful about that. Um, so I have one Hymn of Light there, I don't know if I want a Ritual Sanctuary, because if I do I can pitch this Hymn of Light, grab another Hymn of Light from my deck, summon them on can pitch that one. But that would be all my Hymn of Lights, and if this thing gets, uh, if Ritual Sanctuary gets like destroyed or negated or something, then I won't be able to make any plays. But first, let's start off with a <laughs> with the Fairy Cheer Girl. I almost forgot we had this. Um, let's start off with Fairy Cheer Girl. Ooh, that is very nice. A uh, cannon. Cannon's always good to have in our hand. So um, that means we, hmm, if we grab Sop Soprano, we could, we could add the cannon back, but then we can only special hold once. Uh, so there's that. But let's just go for the Summoner Monk play regardless. We're going to pitch the Hymn of Light here, uh, make a rank 4. Uh, I kind of want to just go for a Lightning and like try to attack into the Sage because it's 0 attack points. <laughs> Deal 5,000 damage right there. Uh, probably attack with Safra and Fairy Chirigo to follow up. I don't know if the traps are anything because I know one of them can like summon a Buster Blader from the deck like directly, all that good stuff. So um, got to be a little cautious about that. Um, okay, so, yeah. If something happens to the Summoner Monk, I'm just gonna Ritual Sanctuary, pitch the uh, Hymn of Light, thin out the deck, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I don't think I have enough, I don't have enough spells in the, I definitely won't have enough spells in the graveyard, but uh, I will be able to just attack over this. Um, I don't know what's taking so long. Okay, so I'm gonna pitch the Hymn of Light here because it uh, will protect the Saffron while it's in the graveyard. Okay, there's the warning. He just wanted me to pitch the uh, the card, so it's a, it's a one for two for him, so it's a good exchange, but at least the warning is out of the way now, so that is very good. Um, that's always something that's nice. So I think, so here's the thing. I might just drop Honest when I attack so that Saffron gets the trigger during the end phase. Uh, I think that'll be, that'll be something that's good. Uh, so I'll do that, just like trigger Safra. Um, okay, so unless he summons a Buster Blader here, then I should be fine. Alright, good, no, no Buster Blader. He's at 1600 because of his warning. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to trigger Safra during the end phase. I don't think I want to add the Honest anymore because I have two Hymn of Light, so I'm just going to draw. I think I want to draw two more cards and see what I grab from the deck. Um, Oh, there's the strike. Well, wow, he's at 100 life points now. 
Uh, that's very bad for him, but I'm gonna use that Hymn of Light to protect my Safra. So there's that. Uh, he's at 100 life points. So next turn, uh, I believe I'm still running the Cowboy, right? I, I believe, believe that I'm running the Cowboy. Please. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yes. Let me check. Let me check my extra deck, alright? Okay. Yes, I do have the Cowboy right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so um, all I need is another Melodious Monster, and I'll be able to Cowboy him for game. Unless, of course, he, uh, <laughs> he gets the uh, Buster Blader lock on the field against me. That would... That would actually kind of suck. So this thing can, yeah, this is one I was talking about. You can send one Destruction Sword card and one Buster Blader monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then uh, you can special summon a Buster Dragon from the extra deck by just banishing um, this card. So right? Um. Oh no no no! You send it and then you sp okay. So you send then you summon the Buster Dragon. All right? That's completely fine. Um, and then you can banish it, and the Destruction Sword cards cannot be destroyed. So that's all good. Uh, he doesn't have the other trap that summons the fusion monster, so I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't have the spell card in his hand, the the El Shadal fusion Buster Blader card thing, because uh, that would be bad. <laughs> if he gets the lock against me, I can't even cowboy him for game, and so I would be basically dead. <laughs> um, not even Honest can save me because all my monsters would be in defense mode. Uh, so yeah. Okay, 3600 attack Buster Blader. And this thing will prevent me from summoning monsters from my extra deck. So, no cowboy at all, it seems. <laughs> uh, which kind of sucks. Okay, so good, good. He's attacking the Fairy Cheer Girl. That is amazing. Because I didn't want to banish the last Hymn of Light just to protect the Saffron. Um, so, I know he has that foolish burial trap card thingy. <sighs> Come on. The Maxi came just a turn late. <sighs> oh, well. Um, well, it looks like there's nothing that I can really do here in terms of uh, in terms of plays so uh, yeah Safra Safra's just gonna be a sitting duck kind of so mm, yeah he can really go off during his next turn but I don't really have any plays I could do whatsoever probably gonna change the Safra to defense mode um, just in case if he summons the fusion monster um, it'll put Safra into defense mode anyway because she's a dragon so that that kind of sucks. Uh, looks like he's equipping... Okay, so it's just two of these. That's that's fine. Uh, I'm, I, th I believe there's one that uh, doesn't allow the opponent to activate like continuous spells and traps or something like that, so that would... And he has face up on the field, so I, I think it hurts Ritual Sanctuary. I'm not completely sure if it hurts field spells. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, so this is the one that special summons a Buster Dragon. So let me max see this. <laughs> Because I, I kind of want to, um, yeah, kind of want to see uh, some more cards. Oh yeah, so this is the card, Destruction Sword Memories. So yeah, you can banish that, uh, Fusion Summon this this bad boy right here. Um, whew, okay, it's going to be a bit difficult to overcome. These two Buster Dragons, uh, the Fusion and the uh, normal Buster Blader, so... Um, yeah, he's he's probably going to be able to do a lot of stuff this turn. Um, he can probably Synchro 8 with the Buster Blader. Or he can Synchro 9 for that Archfiend. Yeah, Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Uh, let me draw a lot of cards, but <laughs> double Safras. Uh, really useless right now, uh, especially because this guy's on the field. So I need, like, a Raigeki, but I don't believe I'm running in the main deck, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm pretty sure I'm not running it, um, in the main deck, it's in my side. Um, but let's see, yes, I'm going to banish the Hymn of Light so I don't die. Because <laughs> if these things attack me, I'm definitely dead. Um, so, yeah, this thing can negate something, uh, the Abyss. Um, so this thing, yeah, the Buster Dragon and the, uh, Destruction Swordmaster, Swordsman, uh, Locke is on the field, which really sucks. Ah, I have these two, but um, what uh, the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword prevents me from summoning from the extra deck, so I can't even overlay these or fusion summon. So I am really stuck right now. <laughs> and a Stardust Dragon. Wow. Ooh, this is uh, this is gonna be bad because now he has two back row as well, and I don't know what they are. Uh, I can't activate any monster effects. 
He has Stardust to protect from destruction. He has this that can negate something. Ooh boy. Yeah, I can't access the extra deck. Um, wow. That is... That is pretty ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can uh, use the terraforming. See if he'll negate this. Oh, no, oh, well, he's gonna attach the, uh, yeah, he's not gonna let me summon from the extra deck. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, okay. Whew, he made a really nice field. Um, and even with all these cards, I don't think I can overcome this. Even if I had the right Gekki and I baited the, um, the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, his Stardust was still negated, so, hmm, well played, well played. Um, and he still has this thing, right, that can prevent things from being destroyed by battle or by card effects, so even if I did have the right Gekki, it wouldn't matter, because he'd, uh, he'd have the Trap, he'd have Stardust, and he'd have Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss to stop me. Um, okay, so we can, uh, we can try with the Ritual Sanctuary, see if we can pitch, um, this copy of Ritual Sanctuary for a Hymn of Light. He might negate this. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, so we can grab the Hymn of Light, uh, which will probably be negated by the <laughs> by the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Um, but we can try. We can definitely try. Let's go for it. Is he going to negate it? No, he's not. Um, we can just pitch this Saffron because it's not doing anything. It's probably changed the defense mode because of this. And, uh, wow. Just gets so beefy because it gains uh, 1,000 attack and defense for every dragon type monster <laughs> that I control or in my graveyard. So I'm actually just uh, helping him right now by putting more monsters onto the field. <laughs> um, oh, and, oh, okay. Yeah, he went up by 2k because both the the Sapphire summoned and the Sapphire uh, tributed count as dragons because they are dragons. Um, so no spells for Summoner Monk. Uh, Soprano and Cannon can't do anything either, so... <laughs> this is <laughs> absolutely amazing. Um, well, <laughs> I don't think I can do anything. Uh, I can't fuse, can't XYZ, uh, can't do any of that shenanigans. again. Saffron doesn't even trigger, so um, yeah. <laughs> well played, well played. Buster Blader. Looking, looking to be a pretty good deck with the new support that's coming out. Um, Especially with that trap card that sends the Destruction Sword. Yeah, this thing, Destruction Swordman's uh, Cradle. So yeah. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, this was a pretty good game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more melodious content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.